No, hide your name. But those stats are terrible, aren't they? They I mean, do sound terrible. <laughs> those, and, and there was one stat that I came across, we decided we weren't sure if it was true, that, na that a disposable nappy could last for 75 years. Yeah, or possibly longer. There's no, there's no sort of right or wrong exactly what they'll last for because a lot of them go into landfill and they're there forever. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so why are we so reliant, upon, uh, yeah, reliant on disposable nappies? Well basically disposable nappies are convenience items so it's not unsimilar to a disposable coffee cup. We've just, as time's gone on, we've just become more and more partial, partial to using disposable products and it's become the way of our life. So disposable nappies for mums have be, been the way they've been how, all we know, really. We live in an instant world, don't we? We, we do. just want everything to be instant and easy. <laughs> do we need more education on the environmental impact of disposables? Well, we do in, in some ways. I, I mean, people nowadays through school and things, we're all, all getting more and more information about how everything we do affects the environment. And it, cloth nappies are something that people need education about anyway because they don't actually know what's available now because all we think about when we think about nappies is disposable nappies. So um, we all just do it in our grocery shopping. We go on into Woolworths or wherever and pick up our packs of nappies as part of our groceries and don't think anything of it. Apart from the bill. In fact, yeah. you used to seeing that too <laughs> because bill. I'm sure you've done the stats on, uh, you know, added up how much that costs Oh, we too. do, yeah. We, yeah. There's a lot of money. It, a parent, the average parent probably spends $50 a week on disposable nappies. So in a time like that, that just seems ludicrous it's really, huge, doesn't it? It's huge, yeah. And I mean, a lot of us can't afford, I certainly can't afford that sort of money per week on a, on a product that's a one use and chuck it away. So it's, a, it's really getting parents to understand that there is another option and they're not the old big flat nappies with pins and things. They're a lot more convenient and they've sort of evolved with as everything else evolves. Could the other option be a nappy free movement? Is, is that <laughs> realistic at all? I haven't really, I don't really know much about the nappy free movement and I, I know for myself I couldn't, like that takes more time hmm. because you've got to actually be conscious be of everything stressful. that your baby's doing and yeah. Hmm. So it is, it's, it's one of those things that if you're really into it, that's great. <laughs> but, yeah. but the average parent doesn't have time to sit around all day and wait for their baby to you know, make signs that they need to go to the toilet. So nappies are more convenient. <laughs> so all nappies though are bad for the environment. Even cloth nappies um, uh, produce carbon dioxide when they're washed, generally when they're hot washed or, or put in the dryer. So it's all going to have a bad impact. So why should we then choose cloth nappies? Well, the, all, yes, all nappies do have a, an effect, but the advantage with cloth nappies is that we all have, like as parents, we have the control on how much effect our cloth nappies have. Um, there was a life cycle analysis that came out in the UK last year. It was actually reassessed um, from the original one, and they came out that if you washed your cloth nappies on lower temperatures, didn't use the dryer, didn't iron them, and did like were very conscious about it. They were 40% better for the environment than disposables. But in New Zealand, it, it doesn't. Those figures don't really equate to the same over here because we have different sources of energy and different ways, like far more sunlight. So you don't really need to use the dryer like they do in the UK. What if we all just changed over to biodegradable nappies, which uh, disposable nappies, which aren't as bad as as what they used to be? Well, the, the, there's sort of a myth around the biodegradable nappies. People think that they buy them, chuck them in their green bin or whatever, their curbside rubbish, and put, put them out and they will degrade in the landfill. But landfills nowadays are made not to biodegrade, so most landfills actually mummify everything in them. So you may spend extra on buying a biodegradable nappy, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to, do, it's going to be any better for the environment. So you may, if you get a compostable nappy, like some brands are compostable nappies that you can do in like at home compost, then that's okay. But you then have to, like there's a lot of nappies that you're going to have to be going through to compost. And again, there's, that involves a fair amount of work. That's um, right. So it's not like you just use it and, and, and lose away. it. No, that's right. Okay, so Waitakere Hospital's maternity ward has actually swapped disposables for cloth nappies. 
that must be a first in New Zealand, is it? It is. It's the, as far as I know, it's the first hospital to go into cloth nappies um, instead of the disposables. And they have had a great scheme so far. It's been well received by all the parents in Waitakere. Um, and Waitakere Council is very, very strong on, on environmental uh, education for their for their people in the in the district, and so it's quite it's quite a a unique thing for them to offer, and we certainly hope that in time across the country we'll be able to get more cloth nappy options into hospitals to for parents to see them. Tell us about your Plunkett range because there's now a lot more options, aren't there, available? Yeah, our, our nappy range. Yeah, we've there's a lot of there's probably four different styles of nappies, but most of the nappies nowadays, they all have different features and benefits. So the, that's why there's so many different ones, because you know, somebody will make a new one and it's better than somebody else's. And so we all love our own range, but our ones we have nappies that look exactly like a disposable now, and they're all one piece. You don't have to like have all different pins or folds or anything like that. You just put it on like a disposable and then you just chuck it in the wash. So it life easy. What about cost? As far as cost goes, mm. yeah. The nappies, to set yourself up with cloth nappies, you're looking anywhere between $800 and $1,000, which some parents it are like, like a lot of money. <gasps> it's a lot of money. Yeah. But when you consider that disposable nappy costs, you're around between four and $6,000 for one child. So if you're buying a set of cloth nappies that will last two children for $1,000, mm. then you're your $1,000 is, is then instead of $12,000 for disposables. So that's a huge saving for parents nowadays, especially holidays. So it's better to invest into these cloth nappies than disposables that are going to cause an issue. But how do they, uh, your cloth nappies compare it, you know, for benefits with the old flat nappies? Well, there's, you don't have to fold them. There's no soaking. There's no, you don't have excess chemicals or anything like that, like you used to, like mums in the hot water and buckets and things like that. It's just quite simply, you use the nappy. If you're using liners, you just get rid of the poo down the toilet and then you just chuck it in the wash. So there's no, not like lines and lines of white nappies on the line like we used to have. So they are, and they last a lot longer. So most of them will last on the child for four hours or easily overnight. So it's not like you're changing them as often as what people so think. So people, are, parents are not going to save uh, if they're going from the flat nappy to to your style of nappies, but they are going to save from changing from disposables to what you have. To, yeah, mm. to the to the cloth. And there's nappies. probably a whole lot of other brands out there now as it's well. Huge, mm. yeah. But we're finding like we really encourage parents to actually go and use both because it's the world is like convenience they are a convenience product and so they're fantastic when you're out or away on holiday and things like that but it's it, to try and get parents to be a little bit more thoughtful when they're at home and that way they can save money at home and save the environment but have the convenience when they're out. Tell us about the workshops that you've got coming up. In, uh, in Hamilton where the council has funded, the Enviro Fund has funded some workshops for parents and parents come along and have a look at the different styles of nappies and we run through how they work. Um, it, it's quite, we, we like to make it quite fun but a lot of parents sort of, once they start looking at cloth nappies they get really confused. So they come along, they see all the styles, they can try them out on, on dolls and, and have a good feel of the fabrics and then they take home a free trial pack from the council. So they actually get a nappy to take That's home. Great, isn't it? Yeah. You never knew that uh, there would be so much going on around nappies really oh, once no. upon a time, <laughs> did you? Now it's a huge topic. <laughs> it's become, yeah, and it's, it's really amazing how much interest we're getting now, especially like with recession and things yeah. like that. Parents are really looking at them as a, as a mainstream option as opposed to the disposables. How important is it for our environment and for our future society, for future parents or parents that, you know, or new parents now, to actually go into using mostly cloth nappies? It's, well, we've, we've only got so much space that we can continually put rubbish. So the cloth nappies is like the beginning of life. So a baby starts using cloth nappy, well a parent mm. uses cloth nappies on the baby. And I know for myself, when we started with our son, 
it started a, a chain of events where we then became more aware of our recycling, more aware of re, like reducing the products we were buying with excess packaging and didn't go and buy vegetables shrink wrapped in plastic and things like that. And so it, it's, and then we started composting and put in veggie, veggie